Ladies and gentlemen, as we're about to begin, please be seated. Good evening and welcome to St. Thomas Catholic Cathedral. Before we begin, I would like to start with some key, start, no, start keeping notes. The bathrooms are located on the left of the building and the exit doors in case of the emergency are on the back left and right. I would also like to let you know that this event is broadcasted live by WH Events on the Chaldean League Australia Facebook page. I would like you to remain seated as we welcome the graduates. Ladies and gentlemen, can I please ask you to stand up for the Australian and Chaldean national anthems. Thank you. Please 
be seated. I would like to begin by acknowledging the traditional custodians of the land on which we meet today and acknowledge the important role Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people continue to play and recognise their continuing connection and contribution to this land. I would also like to pay my respects to their elders past, present and emerging. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, very good evening to you all. My name is Georgina Jarjo and this is Leith Olchino, Secretary of the Chaldean League of New South Wales and we have the great honour to welcome you all today. On behalf of the Chaldean League of New South Wales, we would like to welcome you to this event as we are celebrating Akitu, the Chaldean Babylonian New Year 7,324. Thank you very much for the ongoing support to the Chaldean League and our Chaldean community. Your presence today is very much appreciated and it gives us the strength to continue our hard work and serve the community. The Akitu Chaldean New Year celebration is a native festival that dates back to more than 7,300 years and is still celebrated today by the Chaldean communities around the world. The Chaldean people who are native people of Mesopotamia have a rich history and cultural heritage which is celebrated during this festival. Historically, the Chaldean New Year celebration was an important event for the Chaldean people as it marked the beginning of the agricultural season and was associated with the renewal of life. The festival was also an opportunity for the community to come together to celebrate their rich cultural heritage. Mesopotamia is the cradle of civilization, and the Chaldean people played a significant role in shaping the region's history and culture. The Chaldean people were known for their knowledge of mathematics, astronomy, and astrology. They were also skilled in agriculture and irrigation, which allowed them to cultivate fertile land along the Tigris and Euphrates River. The Chaldeans are proud to have the most ancient civilization of throughout history, but we are also proud and blessed to be Australian. We call Australia home and we work towards the progress and prosperity of this nation. Just before I start welcoming our distinguished guests, I would like to say a few words in Arabic and Chaldean. Dhiyufuna al-kiram, al-sayyidat wa al-sada al-hudur, us'aidtum masa'an. Bin niyaba ana al-rabita al-kildaniya fi New South Wales, awaddu an urahriba bikum jami'an fi hadhi al-ihtifaliya, wa nahnu nahtafil bil-amil kildani al-babil al-jadid, أكيتو 7324 كما نحتفي اليوم بكوكب متميز من أبنائنا وبناتنا من طلبة الدراسة الثانوية للمرحلة المنتهية وخريجي الجامعات ممن حققوا نجاحا وتفوقا علميا يعد فخرا لنا ووساما نضعه على صدورنا حيث حذو حذو أجدادهم العظام في طلب العلم والمعرفة والتفوق في جميع المجالات نحن الكلدان في أستراليا نفتخر بأن لدينا أقدم حضارة في التاريخ ولكننا فخورون أيضا بكوننا أستراليين إننا نعتبر أستراليا وطننا ونعمل يدا بيد على تحقيق التقدم والازدهار لهذه الأمة شكرا جزيلا على الدعم المستمر للرابطة الكلدانية ومجتمعنا الكلداني إن حضوركم اليوم لهو موضع تقدير كبير ويمنحنا القوة لمواصلة عملنا الجاد لخدمة المجتمع شكر خاص لكادر قناة العراقية وأخص بالشكر الأخ والصديق العزيز الأستاذ سمير قاسم مدير مكتب القناة الذي هو السباق دائما لتغطية كل فعاليات وأنشطة الجالية شكرا لكل من ساهم في العمل للإعداد والتحضير لهذه الاحتفالية وكل عام وأنتم بخير أرخن ميقرة أخنوات وخثوات حبيو رمشوخن هاو بريخة وشلامت مريها وموخن بشمي وبشمت كل أخنوات وخثوات بأصورة كالداية قبل نوخن بشينا وكشكر نوخن الثيل وخن وشو تبلوخن أبقاود أذي زوياحة أدريش الشيتة بوليثة كالديثة 
شوال بو طلع ثم وسري واربع هم هذا خب اديو يوما ايو خمزيوح ومية قوره الجوانقو خماثة سكولاي اني خسامة من نهن متمم لي شاتد تريسر و شسام خلنا متمم لي بالصوبة و دي لي مطي الدرغ الخدرغة علاية بأديو يوما و التن ايقارة رابطة لهن و كشاقلو خشوهارة بقاوهن و ايه لي خنيشن دمت تخلل صدرا انا جوانقو خماثة شقل لي ارخد بابواتا قماي دو يومور من شمن بيولبانا و مقرولة مردوثة تدوني كلها أو تنبسي مرابا اللي في توخن وسنة توخن تأسورة كالداية دقي أولا خخيلة تدرخ شوخ القامة تخدمت دبني عمة نبداي موسى أكيتو بريخة كل لوخن بشينة في لوخن قا خرتا وهاو تنبسي مرابا Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to welcome all our distinguished guests and thank them for their ongoing support to the Chaldean League. Monsignor Paul Mangana, representing His Grace Marai Miluna, Archbishop of the Chaldean Catholic Diocese of Australia and New Zealand. His Eminence Mar Basilios, Judge Sal Qasmusa, the Apostolic Visitor to the Syriac Catholic Church in Australia and New Zealand. Rishama Salah Al Kuhayli, Head of the Sabian Mandaean Community in Australia. Mr. Frank Carboni, Mayor of Fairfield City Council. Mrs. Daly, Federal Member for Fowler. Dr. Hugh McDermott, Member for Prospect. Dr. David Saliba, Member for Fairfield. Mr. Trey Vu, Member for Cabramara. Mr. Nathan Haggerty, Member for Leppington. Mr. Karizma Kalianda, member for Liverpool. Mr. Edmund Atalla, member for Mandruid. Acting Superintendent uh, Intendant, uh, Robert Monohan, um, is Acting Commander, Faithful Police Commander, I should say. Mr. Ned Menon, Mayor of uh, Liverpool City Council. Mr. Sam Kayal, Liberal Candidate for Wariwa. I would also like to welcome all the Reverend Fathers from the Chaldean Church and thank them for their ongoing support to the Chaldean League. Father Maher uh, Georges, Father Stephen Azabo, Father Rodi Sitto, Father Yusuf Dawood, and Father Hadil El Babu. I would also like to welcome Co-Bishop Joseph Joseph from the Ancient Church of the East. Also, I would like to make a welcome to the Congregation of the Chaldean Sisters of Mary Immaculate, Sister Ilham and Sister Grace, and all the councillors, outside from the Faithful City Councillors, um, Faithful City Councillor Rani Barco, Faithful City Councillor Mary Saliba, Faithful City Councillor Carmen Laza, Faithful City Councillor Sherbel Saliba, and I believe Eddie is here, Campbell City Councillor Eddie Sarkis and Cumberland City Councillor Steve Christa. Blacktown City Councillor Suzai Benjamin and Mrs. Susan Jabour, Multicultural Community Liaison Officer at Fairfield Police. Okay, um, also I would like to make a special welcome to Mrs. Tina Iyad, member for Holdsworthy. Sorry, I didn't have the confirmation for the attendance, that's why I didn't have the name with me here. I would also like to thank all the organizations, associations, and media for, the, um, be, for being with us tonight. I'm gonna read the names of the, uh, the organizations and the associations as well. Core Community Services, Starts, uh, Kurdistan Democratic Party, Patriotic Union of Kurdistan, Iraqi Islamic Dawah Party, Iraqi Australian University Graduates Forum, Iraqi Australasian Medical Association, Lebanese Free Patriotic Movement, Mariata Lebanese Society, Lebanese Independent Movement, Farsarun Charity Association in Australia, 
Syrian Social National Party, Sawaka Association, Iraqi TV, SBS Australia, 2ME Radio, Mandan Association in Sydney, Mandan Cultural Club, Mandan World Congress, Somal Association for Culture and Arts, Navitas, Bartola Association in Sydney, Baz Assyrian Association in Sydney, Chaldean National Congress Party in Australia, and I would like to thank all the Chaldean associations as well for their ongoing support. Khabar Association, Aradin Association, Bidar Association, Mangesh Association, Sanat Association, Alanish Association, Umra Association, and Batnaya Association. Big thanks to all members of the Chaldean League for their hard work to prepare for this event. Finally, I would like to thank all the team, the Zoom, uh, Zoom Films Photography, WH Events Live, who is broadcasting the, this event live through Facebook page. And we have the superstar singer, Dylan Putters, as we're going to have some live music entertainment later on. Thank you. Sorry, my apology. I would also like to welcome Mr. Pierre Raffoul, the Lebanese Presidential Affairs State Minister. We are immensely grateful for all the sponsors for the invaluable support to the Chaldean League, enabling us to further our mission and positively impacting our community. Please join me in thanking a to Z Wedding Cinematography, Photography and Limousines, Rennie's Bar and Grill, for Art Sufi, Fairmont Legal, Rita Supermarket, Naeem Shamas, Mobile Max, Century 21, Southwest Fairfield, Ashtar Money Transfer Currency and Exchange, Dr. Nasrin Shamas, New Rise Developments, Aussie Ice, Speedway Green Valley, Eastern Flavors Foods, Feru Sweets Cafe, Hammurabi Restaurant, Ron Palette's Auto Repair Center, Hadir Khulza, Core Community Services, Amir Omar, Eden Venues, Golden Crown Car Wash, Batnaya Chaldean Association of Sydney, and HIT Transport. I would now like to welcome Vika General, Monsignor Paul Mc Good evening to everyone. So, just uh, on behalf of uh, our Archbishop is uh, New Zealand, I welcome all of you. So, the welcoming has been done. Uh, so, on his behalf, I am standing in front of you. So, just uh, to welcome all of you, I wish you having a great uh, time to this night. Uh, welcome to St. Thomas Hall. And on his behalf, I welcome all of you here present, uh, representing all uh, the distinguished guests and uh, all our, you are our uh, uh, guests, our family and friends all. And uh, why begin uh, uh, by saying a prayer. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you and remains with you all. لتكن نعمة ربنا يسوع المسيح ومحبة الله الأب وشركة روح القدس معكم جميعا. طيبوث دمارني شام شيحة وحبد على هبابة شريكوث دروحة قدشة يمد كل لوخن دهاب كل عدانة والعالم عالمين آمين ولكم الله فيه Thank you Father Paul We are blessed today to be joined by a number of esteemed guests who will now share a few words with us Please join me in welcoming Mr. Frank Carbone Mayor of Fairfield City Council Well, good evening, everyone. It's a real pleasure to be here uh, tonight to join you to celebrate this momentous occasion. And I think, uh, as they say, when you're in Rome, you do as the Romans do. 
And when you're with Chaldeans, you have to say, Shaita Kelgeta Brikta. I hope I said that half right anyway. Happy New Year to everybody. I probably got it wrong, but that's all right. Look, it's wonderful to be here tonight to celebrate what is a special occasion for each and every one of you. I want to recognise all of our wonderful uh, leaders that have come together to all the distinguished uh, councillors, to the religious leaders that are all here, to the, the sisters, the fathers, of course, to the state MPs, to Dai Lee, of course, the member for Fowler, who today I was with her at the St George Festival celebrating another Chaldean event. Uh, for the, uh, St George being a patron saint of many of the towns in Iraq uh, and it was a wonderful event and uh, I've got to tell you I couldn't get any food because she ate all of it. For such a small woman she loves Chaldean food but I don't know where she puts it but unbelievable. Uh, but look I also want to recognise the Deputy Mayor Shabil Saliba to all my councillor colleagues Rennie Barco, Marie Saliba as well and to the Mayor of uh, Liverpool, Ned Manoon, who's been coming a little bit too often to Fairfield. Uh, Ned, as I said, we are not going to give up Fairfield to the Liverpool Mayor, and we're certainly not going to give up the Chaldean community or St Thomas. You're going to have to fight us for it, and you're going to have to invade. So here in Fairfield, we fight very hard. You know that, don't you? All right, so behave when you're in Fairfield. But it's great to have you here tonight. Look, tonight we come together to celebrate a day that is important to each and every one of you. Celebrating New Year's in Fairfield is nothing new. We are only into April and so far we've had Lunar New Year, Lao New Year, Khmer New Year and many other New Years. Each one of them, the community is extremely proud of their heritage, their culture and their traditions. As we all should be, no matter where we come from, but the Chaldean community should be especially proud. The Chaldean community are, are the native people of Mesopotamia, the cradle of civilization. The Chaldean people have played a very important role in the way that we have developed a civilization. You not only have over the years played immense contributions, given immense contributions to mass, mathematics I should say, astrology and astrom uh, astronomy, but also to agriculture. And we can see that on your flag when we look at the two blue lines to represent the two rivers, the Tigris and the Euphrates River. That shows you how far the Chaldean community has travelled, how many centuries the Chaldean community has survived. Because no matter of how long and how hard others have tried to displace you, the Chaldean community has survived. Survived and thrived. And that's why today we come and join you to make sure that you continue to thrive, you continue to survive. That's why we're all here today. Of course, even UNESCO recognises the Chaldean community. You have the most continuous, the oldest continuous language of anybody. We should not forget that. We are all proud, you're all proud to be Chaldeans and you're all proud to be Australians, I know that. But our traditions and our culture is what makes us very unique, is what makes us stronger, is what builds a strong foundation of any nation and of any country. So I want to recognise your contribution, not only to civilisation, but your contribution that you have given to this city here in Fairfield. I recognise the wonderful work of the church that they have done over many, many years for the community. It's only made us a stronger place for us to live in. So thank you to each and every one of you. I thank you to Samir, to Leif. I don't know how you read all those names out, Leif. Where are you? You're hiding? You should get an award tonight. 
for acknowledging the most people here tonight and not making any mistakes. Well done and congratulations to Samir Yusuf from the Chaldean League as well and to all the volunteers. We know that this celebration isn't undertaken by one person, but it's undertaken by a community. And can I just say before I finish off, as someone with an Italian background, a Catholic background, that my parents taught me, that's in my own DNA, just like it is in your DNA. We understand the important things of life. Family, faith, and of course food. Because no one loves food more than Chaldeans and Italians. That's for sure. I've seen that today at the St George Festival. I've never seen such a big plate in my life. I also want to recognise the graduates, the future Australians and Chaldeans, the future Fair Fairfieldians, most of them, I'm, I hope, are from Fairfield. It doesn't matter if a few are from Ned's area in Liverpool, they'll come back. They know where the best place to live is. I hear that some of them, their parents are Italian, a few of them, I've been told. As someone who my nephew, four of them, is it Sami? Four of them. And I know how good looking you get when your one parent is Italian and one parent is Chaldean. I know that because my nephew is Chaldean. And when you mix Chaldean and Italian, there's nothing else to do. That's civilization for you. So whoever you are, you've got given God's gift and you will never go wrong. Look, to each and every one of you, once again, thank you so much. It's been a real pleasure to be here. I want to wish everyone a happy new year and all the very best. And I'll leave you with this. As I said to you, the important things for us is faith and family. The thing that's made the Chaldean community survive over so many centuries, despite so many people trying to put them down, is your faith. And that's why in Fairfield, when you drive around at Christmas time and you look at your roundabouts, you will see the Christmas decorations. You will see nativity sets. Only in Fairfield, because because as someone that understands the importance of faith, we should never let anybody else take that away from us. And that's why I put it on the roundabouts. So when people drive around and around, they never forget that that is something that's important to us. And this year we have started the Easter decorations. Yes, we've started with the bunny rabbit and we've started with the Easter egg lighting up the roundabouts. But next year we'll continue to make it a little bit better. Have a wonderful night today, everyone. Thank you very much for inviting me. And God bless all the Chaldeans. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor. We might have to invite you some, for some Chaldean food. <laughs> I would now like to welcome Mr. Sam Yusuf, President of the Chaldean League of New South Wales and Vice President of the League globally. I'm short, that's why I have to fix this speak a bit. Sorry guys. I would like to start by offering my deepest condolences representing both myself and the Chaldean League members to the families impacted by the unfortunate event in Bondi. We are keeping them in our thoughts and praise, hoping for a quick recovery for those receiving medical treatment and providing support to their dear ones in this challenging period. Thank you. We have uh, one of our mates who's got his relatives passed away uh, in that incident. He's, uh, he's with us here today. 
esteemed official from all levels of governments, representative from various religious, social, sport, and political organizations, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of myself and my fellow members of the Chaldean League, I want to offer a heartfelt welcome to you all. Thank you for accepting our invitation to join us in celebrating of Akito, the Chaldean Babylonian New Year 7324, as well as honoring the recent graduates from high school and universities in Sydney, Australia. These graduates represent our community's hope and promise for the future. Serving as role models and foundation for building a better tomorrow for both our people in Australia and the nation as well as whole. We are grateful for the opportunities and support that Australia has provided us to us and our families enabling us to strive for life with of dignity and prosperity. Dears, Akito is the Chaldean Babylonian New Year, with the Chaldean with their various names, including the Iraqis, Chaldeans, Assyrians, and Syriac, celebrated for 12 days in Babylon. One could argue that the roots of this celebration lie in paganism, but we honor it as homage to our respected ancestors who laid the foundation of civilization, advanced in astronomy and time measurement, and established some of the earliest legal systems, such as the Code of Hammurabi and the legendary hanging gardens of Nabokadnassar. This is source of pride to us. We celebrate to stay connected to our past, heritage, and proud traditions, passing them down through generations with love. May our hearts be filled with the, with the history they created, and may it be preserved for future generations. Congratulations to the graduate and happy Chaldean New Year to all, and may peace and security prevail in our hearts and countries. Thank you. I'm going to say a few words in Chaldean as well. خنوات خطوات رم شوخن طاو وبريخة. بشمي بشمة خنواتي هدامي وبلاخة وسنداني العصورة كالداية جو أستراليا وجدني كلها كبن أمرنا وخن هاتم بسيمة التيتو خن وسنتو خن وحب الديوت المغزوي طالا إديو ملخة جو أستراليا جو شولد عصورة كالداية. دي خديرو تن عصورة كالداية هو المقروي وخدمتك مد إيبة تكل ابن عم ملخة لبراشة. كالداية عاشوراية سرياية سرياناية عراقناية من يديلة خدمتنا هؤلاء المقرولة من تري مخت وين تري أوفيسز خمنا يديل جوفيرفولد وخينا إيلي جاود مانجود وتلم بلاخ كشير وفالنتيرز دو حانة بدانيه هنا ودا وبخ وفري بلاخ هنا طالع جيكن أن ناس دائما تلي إيقارة بريشة جيبا وهنا ركبنا أمرنا وخن ريش الشيتة كالديتا هوي برختها تكل وخن شيتة شوال بطلة ثامة وأسري وأربا وهر هادخ إديوما كبن أمر اتلي إقارة وشوهارة كل النجوة قخمات الديلة لو بال الديم اتوالا من يانا بشرابة هيتشي سي واتوالا من بتصوب من يانا بشرابة بس دانا كريتة وحقوتة لبرن نوخن بد هادخ كبير ليوش المجيكة ببرن طالعه أخنوتن إيوتن دعتي الديم أخنوتن إيوتن ريشا رامد مر مخلب يوخن أخنوتن بس ما جانوخن keep going ومر مريشة وشمة كالداية بأستراليا. In Arabic, I'm gonna take a long time. الأخوة والأخوات الأعزاء ممثل الحكومات الفدرالية والولاية والحكومات المحلية المحترمون 
ممثلي المؤسسات الدينية والاجتماعية والسياسية العزاء الشخصيات الوطنية وأصدقائنا الأحباء وأخذ بالذكر الدكتور بيار رفول وزير الدولة لشؤون رئاسة الجمهورية اللبناني اللي حضر معنا اليوم بالرغم من أنه أحد ضحايا بوندا امبارح كانت قريبته والمفروض كان يروح للعزاء بس أطانا من وقت الثمين وجه شاركنا شكرا دكتور أحب أن أرحب بكم أجمل ترحيب شاكرا أياكم تلبية دعوتنا لمشاركتنا عيد أكيتو رأس السنة الكلدانية البابلية 7324 وتكريم الطلبة الخريجين من الثانوية والجامعات هنا في أستراليا سيدني والذين حملناهم اليوم العلامة الكلدانية والأسترالية وشعار الرابطة ليكونوا القدوة لشبابنا واللبنة الأساسية لبناء مستقبل شعبنا في أستراليا بصورة خاصة ومستقبل أستراليا بصورة عامة أعزائي أكيد هو رأس السنة الكلدانية البابلية والتي كان يحتفل بها الكلدانية الكلدانيون بمختلف أسمائهم من الكلدان والآشور والسريان لمدة 12 يوم في بابل وفي نهاية المطاف كان الكاهن يصفع الملك ويرموه في النهر تعبيرا لنيله عقوبة الخطايا التي ارتكبها في تلك السنة وغسله منها بماء النهر لتطهيره منها لربما البعض منكم يقولون بأنها مناسبة وثنية لماذا نحتفل بها؟ والجواب هو لنتذكر هؤلاء الأجداد العظام الذين قدموا للحضارة للعالم واخترعوا العلوم من الفلك وتقسيم الزمن ووضعوا أول قانون في العالم قانون حمرابي ومسلته ونبخذ نصر وجنائنه المعلقة المعروفة اخترعوا العجلة ونظموا الحياة ووضعوا أسس تعامل بين المجتمعات بأرقى منظومة عرفت في التاريخ نحتفل لنرتبط بماضينا وتراثنا وتقاليدنا البعيدة عن الوثنية والتي نفتخر بها كمسيحيين ونربط أجيالنا بها ونزرع محبتنا محبتها في قلوبهم وليحيوا تاريخنا ويسلموه للأجيال القادمون من بعدهم لا حب أن أطيل عليكم أكثر أقول تهانينا للخريجين وكل عام وشعبنا والإنسانية بألف خير شكرا Thank you. We supposed to have another two person to join us here, but they said as letters, congratulate our community in I will read it I will read it in Arabic and then my colleague Light he will read it in English for you. First letter we had it from the Prime Minister Anthony Albanese. كتاب قما يتيال الرسالة الأولى اللي وصلتنا من رئيس وزراء أستراليا يهني الجالية الكلدانية بأعياد أكيتو قال في رسالته أكيتو رأس السنة الكلدانية 7324 يسعدني أن أرسل تمنياتي الحارة إلى المجتمع الكلداني في أستراليا بمناسبة أكيتو رأس السنة الكلدانية أن السنة الكلدانية جديدة ليست مجرد مهرجان للتجديد بل هي وقت للاعتزاز بالتاريخ وتراث مجتمعكم وتضيف طقوس الإيمان والثقافة القديمة طبقات من التقاليد التي تثري احتفالات الجالية الكلدانية في أستراليا وتخلق لنا أجيالاً مليئة من الحكمة والخبرة ومجتمع قوي ومزدهر ومتعدد الثقافات وبفضل طاقات الفئات الشبابية والعائلات وحكمة وبصيرة الآباء والأجداد وتنوعكم أحيا حياتنا في جنوب غرب سيدني وخارجها وعندما نفكر في الأوقات الماضية ونتطلع إلى المستقبل نطلب بأن يكون هذا زمن الأمل والتفاؤل أتمنى السلام والفرح لكم جميعا لسنة جديدة سعيدة سعادة النائب أنثني البنيزي رئيس وزراء أستراليا أبريل 2024 والرسالة الثانية التي وصلتنا من رئيس المعارضة السيد بيتر داتن الذي يقول في رسالته بيتر داتن رئيس المعارضة طبعا ورئيس حزب الأحرار الاسترالي بالنيابة عن الاتلاف أبعث بأطب تمنياتي للأستراليين من أصل كلداني بمناسبة احتفالاتكم بالعام الجديد أكيتو 
بلادنا هي اليوم موطن لحوالي عشرين ألف شخص من ذوي الأصول الكلدانية طبعا الرقم غلط تعود أصول الاحتفال بالعام الجديد في أكيتو إلى بلاد ما بين النهرين القديمة حيث كان المهرجان يرمز إلى تجديد الحياة على أرضنا سيجتمع المجتمع الكلداني في أستراليا في المهرجانات التي تكرم التراث والتاريخ الكلداني من خلال الرقص والموسيقى ورواية القصص والضيافة إنني أشيد بالأستراليين من أصل كلداني لمشاركتهم احتفالاتكم بالعام الجديد مع المجتمع الأسترالي الأوسع وفي هذه المناسبة الخاصة أود أيضاً أن أشكر طلاب وخريجي الجامعات والثانوية المرتبطين بالرابطة الكلدانية في نيو ساوث ويلز وأن أباركهم على إنجازاتهم الأكاديمية والمنهجية إن أكيد هو شهادة على الإنجاز الذي حققته أستراليا الحديثة فنحن شعب من خلفيات متعددة ومن أديان عديدة ونمارس العديد من التقاليد الثقافية على الرغم من هذه الاختلافات فإننا متحدون كأستراليين بالأشياء المشتركة بيننا حب الأسرة وتقديرنا للأصدقاء والزملاء وارتباطنا بالمجتمع وإحساسنا بالواجب وطموحنا وتفاؤلنا واحترامنا للقانون والحرية واعتزازنا ببلدنا ورغبتنا في حماية الديمقراطية إن هذه السمات المميزة لشخصيتنا الوطنية هي التي تدفعنا كل يوم إلى المساهمة في شيء أكبر من أنفسنا أطيب تمنياتي لجميع المحتفلين بأكيتو سنة جديدة سعيدة بيتر داتن رئيس حزب الأحرار الأسترالي وزعيم المعارضة شكرا جزيلا معذرة على الإطالة Okay, ladies and gentlemen, as Sam said, we had two letters. Uh, the first one is from the Honorable Anthony Albanese, Prime Minister of Australia. Um, he sent a letter saying, Akito Chaldean New Year 7324. I'm delighted to send my warm wishes to Australia's Chaldean community on the occasion of Akito. The Chaldean New Year is not only a festival of, re of renewal, it is a time to cherish the history and heritage of your, Chaldean, of, your, of your community, the rituals of an ancient faith and culture, add layers of tradition that enrich your celebrations. So I'm gonna put my glasses on, it's very tiny. The Chaldean community in Australia brings generations of wisdom and experience to our strong and thriving multicultural society. In the energy of youth groups and young families and the insight of parents and grandparents your diversity enlivens our, com our communities across southwestern Sydney and beyond. As you reflect times past and look ahead to the future, may this be the season of hope and optimism. I wish peace and joy to all of you. Happy New Year. The Honourable Anthony Albanese, MP, Prime Minister of Australia, April 2024. Also, we had another letter uh, from the Honourable Peter Dutton, uh, leader of the opposition. Happy Akito, on behalf of the coalition, I send my best wishes to Australians of Chaldean ancestry for the New Year Akito celebration. Our country is home today to some 20,000 people with Chaldean heritage, it's actually more than 20,000. The New Year celebration of Akito has its origins dating back to ancient Mesopotamia where the festival symbolizes the renewal of life. On our soil, Australia's Chaldean community will come together for festivals which honor Chaldean heritage and history through dancing, music, storytelling, and hospitality. I commend Australians of Chaldean ancestry for sharing your New Year celebration with the wide Australian community. On this special occasion, I also want to acknowledge those HSC students and university graduates associated with the Chaldean League of New South Wales. Congratulations on your academic and co-curricular achievements. Akito is testimony to, to the achievement of modern Australia. We are a people of many backgrounds, of many faiths, who practice many cultural traditions. Despite these differences, we are united as Australians by the things we have in common. Our love of family, our appreciation for friends and colleagues, our attachment to community, our sense of duty, our aspiration and optimism, our respect for law and liberty, our pride in our country, 
and our desire to protect democracy. It's these features of our nation character which motivates us each day to continue to contribute to something bigger than ourselves. My best wishes to all celebrating Akito. Happy New Year. The Honorable Peter Dutton MP, Leader of the Opposition, April 2024. Also, we have two videos, and we're going to show them on the screen. Uh, from, um, first one is from the Honorable Chris Bowen, Minister for Climate Change and Energy. And the second one is from, from the Honorable Susan Lee, Deputy Leader of the Liberal Party, who couldn't come. They send their regards to the Chaldean community, and I'll leave you with the videos. Shlama Lokom. I wanted to take this opportunity to wish all my Chaldean friends a very happy new year. I'm sorry I can't be with you today. Chaldean New Year is a very special event for you and for me and for our community. It's an opportunity to reflect on everything we did last year and what we look forward to next year. It's become a very important part of our calendar. I wish you all the best for Chaldean New Year. Basima Raba. Good morning, I'm here with Susan Lee, the Deputy Leader for the Liberal Party. And uh, we're glad to record this video for Chaldean community worldwide uh, to congratulate them on Chaldean New Year 7324 and um, uh, congratulating the student who we uh, honor them today uh, in our church, St. Thomas Chaldean Catholic Church. Best wishes for the Chaldean community on Chaldean New Year, Samir, and what a pleasure and a privilege it is to hear about the achievements of your community in Australia, particularly the graduating students. So, happy Chaldean New Year, everybody who is watching, and I look forward to visiting you soon. Thank you. Thank you. It's not every day you receive a letter from the Prime Minister. That was very good. I would now like to welcome Mrs. Dai Lee, Federal Member for Fowler. We've got Ned Manoon first. I would now like to welcome Mr. Ned Manoon, Mayor of Liverpool City Council. Assalamu alaikum. Now you can see Dai wants, Dai and Frank want me to get out of Fairfield as quickly as possible, so that's what let me go first. But thank you very much, Dai. Uh, to everyone here, thank you very much for having me. I want to acknowledge all the religious leaders, uh, all the uh, politicians who are here. Um, in particular, I want to acknowledge the, the mayor of Fairfield, Frank Carboni. Uh, Frank, we, we do joke around the time, but we, do, we always appreciate uh, you allowing me to cross your borders, and we're happy to reciprocate. Uh, to it. The, the Chaldean community is growing very large and I know we're, they're growing into Liverpool quite quickly so we, we, we share and we work together on this. I'm mindful that there's 11 speakers so I just want to say on behalf of myself, on behalf of myself and everyone at Liverpool City Council, we want to wish you a very um, happy and blessed Chaldean New Year for the year 7,324. Uh, I want to wish you, for you and your families, all the very best of health happiness and blessings both spiritually and, and physically uh, in this world. When you think about that year, 7,000 years, that is a significant, significant number. And the contribution of the Chaldean community to society and to the world uh, is unrivaled. Uh, and it's so good to have, to see all the contributions that are being done today, but also the future the future people who will be leading this country and continuing that tradition of 7,000 years. So all the pressure on you guys, which I'm sure you'll succeed in carrying that on into you and your children. Maintaining and preserving culture is so important. As we gather here as Australians, we are lucky that we live in the best country in the world and the best Southwest Sydney is the best part of this part of the world. Who agrees with me? Come on, who loves, who loves Australia? There you go. Where else are we able to gather together from all over the world, different faiths, different religions, together as one united under one flag? 
We have been out there, as Frank mentioned, we have been celebrating so many different New Year's and occasions. Yesterday was Khmer New Year. Uh, we have Eid that was being celebrated. We have our Mandane brothers and sisters who were celebrating the Eid only a few weeks ago. We have Easter. We have Orthodox Easter. All this is happening right now. We have, uh, um, we have Holly. There's so many. And this is what's so beautiful about Southwest Sydney. When you look at the statistics, 87 and 86% of people in Liverpool and Fairfield believe in God. This is something that is unique, especially in this day and age. And I want to thank Frank, and particularly for your leadership and what you mentioned before, what you're doing in regards to ensuring that faith and family is number one. And we should never, ever, ever shy away from that. So I, I, I have to share with you as well that um, in Liverpool Council, that we will be erecting a statue of our Mother Mary in Big Park, overlooking the hospital, hopefully in the month of August. We do that because, and we fight because people don't want us to do that, but we do that because we believe faith must guide us in what we do. If we look at our, we see, we know what's happening in Fairfield, even at Cumberland City Council, the work and effort that's being done uh, by Eddie Sarkis uh, and everyone else, everyone else uh, and Steve uh, Christou, who are out there and standing up for that. It's very important that we give back to this country as much as given to us, and I think the best way we can do that in Southwest Sydney is maintaining our traditions, our cultures, uh, and our heritage. Um, so, Frank, once again, thank you for what you do. I think we should set Frank down to Canberra. I think you, you can do more than just being a mayor here. Frank, what do you reckon? Can we set, send him down to Canberra? Maybe die, you can take him with you. I think it'd be a great addition to the, uh, to the national debate. But ladies and gentlemen, once again, I want to wish you all a very blessed Caldean uh, New Year. Thank you for letting me do it. You have to excuse me. I'm supposed to be at a wedding now, and I've missed the Zafir where they've walked in, so my wife is going to kill me. So please excuse me. And lastly, I want to say, Rashita Kaldate Brichta. Thank you very much. Us Chaldeans have a very, very strong devotion to Mother Mary, so you'll definitely be seeing us there. Thank you so much. I would now like to welcome Mrs. Dai Lee, Federal Member for Fowler. Thank you. Um, before I start, I also would like to take a, a moment um, and as uh, uh, Samir mentioned, uh, the lives lost in Bondi Junction, um, we as a community in Fowler, in Fairfield and Liverpool want to send our um, condolences and best wishes and pray for the families who've lost their loved ones in, in this tragic incident over the weekend. Um, Shlama Lokun. I'll try and attempt this. Reshita Kaldita Rikta. It's an honour to be here today with you all celebrating the Chaldean New Year. And I think many uh, people, uh, the Mayor has already mentioned the importance uh, of your community and the culture and the traditions that you share with us here in Fairfield uh, and Liverpool. It's, it's, you know, like today we were at the showground smart, uh, celebrating with the Chaldean community, for, community there for their St George's Day. Um, and so for me, being a federal member for one of the most diverse communities in the country and being part of these diverse cultures celebrations for since January, we've been celebrating many cultures, many new years. It's just an amazing and a privilege to be part of that. Um, I know that there are many uh, distinguished guests, but I want to acknowledge our wonderful religious leaders uh, from the Chaldean community and other religious organization as well that's here tonight, our state MPs, our local councillors. I'd like to call out my, of course, council colleague, the Deputy Mayor, Shabel Saliba, uh, Marie Saliba, they're not related, but my council colleague Marie Saliba, Carmen Lazar, and Renny Barco, of course, and of course our mayor. Uh, look, I would like to thank Samir Yusuf and Laith Atrino, the two amazing people who constantly drive the initiatives behind the Cardian League of New South Wales. And I have no doubt your volunteers, the wonderful women that I see in the beautiful flag outfit. That's wonderful, and the, uh, the Chaldean dress as well. 
uh, that's you know that's taking on my my Australian flag dress, the Vietnamese tradition one. So I think you, that's great to make that out there and share and and be proud of the fact that we are Australian first and foremost, and we are celebrating our traditions and proud that we're living two cultures, uh, straddling both cultures. It is a challenge at times, but I know it is something that we can do very well here in Fairfield. I'll keep my message short, short because as Ned said, there are so many speakers. The new year is a year to reflect on what has happened and to, of course, embrace the new um, year for, you know, for the Chaldean community, and I have no doubt for the young people, the graduates here tonight, it's a new start for you too. Congratulations on graduating, and I wish you great success as the new leaders in your community. And I know that you'll have a huge, make a huge impact in whatever, um, this, um, this, whatever field you choose to be in. Uh, so happy New Year, happy Chaldean New Year. Have a healthy, prosperous, and very successful year in the year of 7324. Thank you so much. Basim Baraba. I would now like to welcome to the stage Dr. Hugh McDermott, Member for Prospect. Well, Happy New Year, everybody. What a wonderful night. Samir, you've outdone yourself once again uh, with this wonderful group. Um, it's so wonderful to finally celebrate New Year once again. Firstly, to the religious leaders here, Your Grace, Monsignor, Reverend Fathers, Sisters, thank you for all the leadership you give to, this, to Western Sydney. Um, throughout many years, you have led not only the Chaldean community, but many other communities as well, um, through your example and through your solitude. So thank you. To my parliamentary colleague, friends, federal, state, council, and of course from Lebanon as well, which is the first time which I've got to acknowledge a colleague from Lebanon, so welcome. And it's so good that we're all here, and it's so good to see so many different councils here, because the Chaldean community has grown bigger and bigger. More than, close to, I think, 30,000 people, not 20,000 people from Chaldean heritage, and it's about 40 now, so it gets bigger and bigger, so this is wonderful, so thank you. Um, and I get you, every mayor will give us a new number anyway, so we're a bigger number, no doubt. Um, so it'll be interesting to see how Fred and, 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 and Ned uh, Manoon uh, compete for the Chaldean vote, but also the Chaldean people living in their areas. The Chaldean heritage is one which has lasted more than 7,000 years. It's the foundation of not only our, our Catholic and Christian heritage, but so much in the Middle East, into Europe, and now into Australia. And I look at these graduates here today, and they're the leaders in their community, no doubt at all. But they're also the leaders in the Australian community. The heritage you have the honour of inheriting, this wonderful Chaldean heritage you are now part of, and you will build more and more into the Australian community, into the Australian heritage in the future. We're so lucky that we have such a community in Western Sydney. It just shows how strong multiculturalism is in New South Wales. And it must never be forgotten that the heritage that has lasted 7,000 years will last many more years to come. Thank you for letting me celebrate with you tonight. Congratulations to all the graduates. I, love I look forward to seeing your success. I've seen many of you in school before you came through, and now I see you at university and beyond. And I look forward to seeing you in the professions and leading our community here in Western Sydney. God bless. May the Holy Mother bless you all and smile upon your families. Good night. Thank you, Doctor. I would now like to welcome Dr. David Saliba, member for Fairfield. I guess before, before I begin, I just want to express my deepest condolences uh, for uh, 
the people, the family and friends of the victims, the people that lost their lives yesterday. And I just want to also acknowledge Robert uh, and, um, and your fellow officers over at Fairfield and the wider police force for keeping us safe. It's a tough job. Uh, there's some significant sacrifices there and I just wanted to publicly acknowledge that. So thank you so much for your work. Um, so as I reflect now in terms of the Chaldean New Year, 7,300 years, and when I reflect on that, it is a story of resilience and growth. I, I can only imagine what life would have been like back then. It would have been tough. Uh, nature running its course, the actions of humans as well. But the result of that, the result of that struggle and triumph has basically produced our graduates here today. Uh, and I did graduate school probably before you're born and it's that realization that's kicking in now. Uh, but I'm very proud of all of you here today. In fact, I work with three of these people. So I work with Rose, I work with Andrew, who's probably gonna be at work tomorrow morning uh, with me and I work with Natalia as well. So I can attest to the fact that uh, the Chaldean community have produced some awesome children, some awesome kids who are going to go on to strongly contribute within our society. And I guess my message to all the graduates as well, so firstly the HSE graduates, I remembered what it was like to finish school, I think it was in 2002, and jumping onto university. And for me, it was a financial struggle, but it was a, it was a journey of learning and friendships. I made so many friends along the way and it was awesome. And in terms of the university graduates, it was then when I graduated that you started earning money and started really kicking into life and contributing to the organisations with which you work in. And I guess when I reflect on our future, when I look at Fairfield, and I've said this before, Fairfield's a community that has welcomed a lot of us from all around the world. It's a community that has truly accepted us and celebrated our cultures. And so with that too, it has its disadvantages in terms of people struggling and for us to overcome those struggles and to be that shining light with which we want it to be, it's going to be people like you that are going to steer the directions with respect to that in law, in health, uh, in engineering, in science and so on. So I sincerely do look forward to seeing you all grow within your journeys and uh, I know that everyone here is strongly supportive in terms of providing you that platform to grow and prosper. So thank you very much for your time, everyone. I would now like to welcome Mr. Nathan Haggerty, member for Leppington. I just, uh, I'll, I know everyone has said they'll try and keep it quick, but it's a very difficult thing for politicians to do. So uh, we can aspire to keep it quick, and I will aspire to keep it quick. Uh, I, of course, acknowledge uh, all of my uh, colleagues across all three levels of government, uh, religious leaders, community leaders, uh, and many friends. I see many familiar faces uh, in the in the crowd tonight. Uh, we of course come here to acknowledge uh, Akita, which is, uh, I was doing a little bit of research, and uh, the origin of the festival was actually uh, coincided when uh, the barley would be uh, sowed. So planting the seed, uh, and in many ways it is like education. Uh, you, you plant a seed, and you toil, and you work hard for a very, very long time, and then at the end of it, uh, it bears, uh, well not, not in the case of barley, it doesn't bear fruit, but it does bear uh, food and sustenance. And like uh, education and like the journey that you've been on, uh, a very, very similar journey. So uh, congratulations to all of you. Uh, but can I make a few uh, points? Uh, it's it's uh, education and, 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 and um, academia are very, very important, but just as important uh, having a good moral uh, foundation and a good ethical foundation. So it's one thing to be uh, smart, uh, but you can be smart and, and be a terrible person. Uh, it's important to be a good person, and, and key to that is is your 
uh, your morals, your ethics, and your, and your faith. So it's important that you uh, remember, of course, as Chaldeans, uh, your faith, your history, and your culture, uh, and you remember where you came from, uh, and the uh, the struggle and the resilience that both uh, that you yourselves and and thousands of generations of your people have had to go through uh, to be here today, because that that's what makes this place of Southwest Sydney such a wonderful place. The fact that we can have people from uh, all over the world uh, who come here and practice their faith. Uh, freely and without persecution uh, and that they can contribute back to our wonderful country. So well done to all of you uh, and as always thank you Laith, thank you Sam and thank you to the Chaldean community for having me here. Thank you. Thank you. I would now like to welcome Miss Charisma Kaliyanda, member for Liverpool. Good evening, everyone. And can I just say, you got my name perfectly on the first go, so thank you very much for that. Um, as, as many pr people in the audience um, can probably um, uh, resonate with, uh, it's not often that that happens, so thank you. Um, I would also uh, like to express my, um, my, my honour and my privilege um, and joy at joining you all for this very important milestone occasion. Um, New Year's are very, uh, you know, very significant occasions for us to make changes in our life, make changes in the world around us, and uh, make changes in our broader community. And that's exactly what events like this, uh, you know, cause us to do. The Chaldean community in particular has a long history of not only, uh, not only uh, building the community from the ground up, but sharing in our broader community. And I brought this up with me because on the back of our nameplates was a message which says, your support to our community means the world to us. And as I reflected on the many speakers before me who acknowledge the significant contributions made by the Chaldean community, I actually think it's us who benefit. Your support means the world to our broader community. And we see the significance of um, what that has meant in our business world, in our local communities, in our organisations. And I see there are so many representatives from various community organisations and friendly faces here. So I acknowledge uh, you know, those representatives from, the from other community organisations, my parliamentary colleagues from both state and federal level, as well as uh, my council colleagues. Um, and that's all a reflection of the, the value that our broader community uh, knows it, that it exists within the Chaldean community. And to our graduates, I know it's, uh, it can be a difficult and sometimes overwhelming process to figure out what you want to do with the rest of your life. Um, and I don't want to add to that pressure, but I just want to say, um, whatever you choose to do, however you choose to move through society and the world um, ahead of you, I hope you keep in mind what's written on your, your scarves or your sashes, which is Chaldean and proud. Be proud of who you are, be proud of how you contribute to our broader community because we see the value in you. We acknowledge how, how, uh, how much you contribute. And all of the politicians here have talked about the beauty of multiculturalism and diversity within Southwest Sydney. We see it, we live it, but you are going to be the ones who show it to the rest of Sydney, to the rest of New South Wales, to the rest of Australia in whatever you choose to do. You are the ones who are going to be the representatives of Southwest Sydney as we go forward. So I truly will keep it short. Thank you so much um, for, for having me and I wish you all a very blessed uh, New Year. I would now like to welcome Mr. Tree Vu, member for Cabramatta. Uh, 
my thoughts and prayers are also with the victims and the families of the unfortunate incident which occurred uh, yesterday in uh, Wondai Junction. And uh, I would like to acknowledge the uh, Gabriel people of the Arab Nation, the traditional custodians of land we meet here today, and pay my respect to elders past, present, and emerging. I, I acknowledge Mr. Sam Yusuf, president of the um, Chaldean League of New South Wales, and vice president globally. And everyone in the executive committee and the organizing committee here today, um, also Father, uh, representing the Archbishop of Chaldean Catholic Church of Australia and uh, New Zealand, and all the uh, fathers, priests here, all the sisters, and all the religious leaders present here today, and um, uh, overseas statesperson from Lebanon, uh, all the um, uh, federal MPs, uh, my parliament state MPs, uh, the mayor, mayors, councillors, representative organisations, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, firstly, I'd like to thank the organising committee uh, for inviting me here uh, today and wish everyone a very happy uh, Chaldean uh, Babylonian New Year 7324, uh, Akitu, and honouring the HSC students and university, university graduates here. Mesopotamia is the cradle of civilization. And we know that the Chaldean people played a significant role in shaping the region's history and culture. The Chaldean people were known for their knowledge of mathematics, uh, ast astronomy, astrology, and agriculture. That's why we know that the Chaldean New Year is not just a festival, but also a celebration of the Chaldean people's resilience and ability to maintain cultural traditions throughout centuries of conquest and displacement. I'd like to take this opportunity to uh, thank you, the Chaldean League in New South Wales and Australia for preserving, cherishing your language and your culture for your community, for our next generations, and also for us to know, learn, and celebrate with you today. I was also a boat refugee escaped Vietnam away from the Vietnamese communist regime by boat with my parents and family. And previously, I was also a community leader in New South Wales and also nationally in Australia. That's why I, I understand how important your struggles are and how important it is to have a common organisation and voice nationally and internationally, not just for you, but for your community and for your people in and around Iraq and around the world. Once again, I wish you all a very happy 7,324th Chaldean New Year. And also, I wish you all continued strength, determination, and resilience as a community and as a people. Also, a big congratulations to all the graduates of HSC and university today. You did well and keep going. Um, I'm pretty sure your community is very proud of you. Your family is very proud of you. We are very proud of you. Thank you for having me here today. Thank you. I would now like to welcome Mr. Enman Atala, member for Mount Druitt. If I could also um, take a moment to reflect on the massacre that has taken place in Bondi yesterday. And I offer my condolences to the victims' families and friends who have tragically lost their lives unnecessarily. One of those victims was a constituent of mine in the Mount Druid electorate. This young man, Mr. Farah Tahir, was only 30 years old. And he was a new Australian from Pakistan who has only been here in Australia for 12 months. 
escaping persecution in his home, uh, in his home country. Yesterday was his first day on the job, being a security guard at Westfields. And he was killed while trying to save and protect others. So please remember those impacted by this tragedy in your prayers. If I can now acknowledge the traditional owners of the land on which we are gathered here tonight and pay my respects to their elders, past, present and emerging. I also acknowledge all of the distinguished guests previously acknowledged who have joined us here tonight. We thank Mr Sam Yusuf, President of the Chaldean League of New South Wales and Secretary Mr Laith Achino and the League members uh, for inviting us to this special occasion. Friends, tonight we gather to celebrate two occasions, the Chaldean New Year and the celebration of our HSC and university graduates. The Chaldean New Year celebrates the rich tapestry of human history to honour traditions that have withstood the test of time and to recognise the resilience of communities across the world. From the ancient lands of Babylon, the stories of ancestry resonate through the ages, reminding us of the bonds that unite us all. The Chaldean New Year celebration with its roots stretching back over 7,300 years, stands as a testament to the enduring spirit of humanity. Historically, the Chaldean New Year is an important event to the Chaldean people, as it marks the beginning of the agricultural season and was associated with the renewal of life. This event is an opportunity for the community to come together to celebrate their rich cultural heritage. Throughout history, communities have come together in times of celebration, drawing strength from shared traditions, cultures, heritage, and diversity. Among this celebration of diversity, there is also a common thread that binds us all together, the resilience of the human spirit. Despite the trials and tribulations of history, the Chaldean people have persevered, holding fast to their identity, their language, and their traditions. And you can see that the language is thousands and thousands of years and still spoken here tonight uh, by all of our leaders. So in a world that often seems divided, let us draw inspiration from our ancestors and reaffirm our commitments to building a future grounded in understanding and respect for all. So in conclusion, I wish you all a very happy new year and congratulations to all our graduates, uh, HSC and university graduates. This is not the end of your journey, but the beginning. May I wish you all the best. For our last speech of the night, I would li now like to welcome Acting Superintendent Robert Monaghan from Fairfoot Police Command. Uh, before I begin, I, I too would like to acknowledge the victims of the tragedy yesterday at Bondi and just spare a thought for their loved ones and families in this difficult time. Uh, also too, would like to say thank you to David for acknowledging the part that New South Wales Police took in resolving the incident yesterday. Thank you. Good evening, distinguished guests, religious leaders, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the Fairfield City Police Area Command Commander, Superintendent Michael McLean, I thank you graciously for the opportunity to come here and celebrate the Chaldean Babylonian New Year of 7324 with our friends in the Chaldean community. In addition to this very important and historical occasion, we are also honoured to be acknowledging and congratulating the exemplary achievements of some of our very best HSC students and successful 
university graduates. It is with great pleasure that I can recount the last five years that I have spent attached to the Fairfield City Police Area Command. In this time, I've been witness to the friendship and cooperation that your community has extended to our local police. We've been able to achieve much in the way of detection and prevention of crime through this strong community partnership. I look forward to the continuation of this mutual respect and support that we share of each other well into the future. Whilst I can read and learn about the rich, proud and long-standing history of the Chaldean people, it's difficult to truly appreciate the vibrant culture that you share by books alone. I am truly grateful for the opportunity to come along to this momentous celebration and share it and share in what it means to be a member of the Chaldean community. To the graduating HSC and university students, you should be very proud of yourselves. You have achieved some of the highest accolades that the secondary and tertiary education system can award. The years of hard work that you've put in and the dedication that you've exhibited has now been fulfilled. Enjoy these rewards, particularly receiving them at such an important event. In closing, to the Chaldean League of New South Wales, in particular the organising committee for this event, Sam and Leith, I thank you for extending the invitation to our local police to be present and take part in such a special occasion. To the graduating students, once again I wish you congratulations and to all I wish a very happy and safe new year. Thank you all. Please enjoy a folk dance presented by Salt and Life Youth Group from St Mary's Assumption Chaldean Catholic Church. Lo 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 iba a 
سم شاد و رخورالی روشی نوادی بین و بین قبورالی
صوتي نطبخ ولا دمعتي وي بس فوري كذوي شما كبن كبن كبنا ساعة ولا بيشوقنا كبن كبن كبنا ساعة ولا بيشوقنا Thank you to Salt and Light Youth Group from St. Mary's Assumption Chaldean Catholic Church. Can we give them another round of applause, please? As we gather here today, let's acknowledge the remarkable dedication and hard work exhibited by our 2023 graduates. With immense pride and commemorate, we would like to commemorate their efforts and celebrate their journey towards success. We will begin by congratulating the HSC graduates. Can I please ask Mr. Frank Carbone to the stage to help congratulate the graduates? Natalia Shibo, Mary McKeel of Catholic College, 90.45. Mary Namo, Freeman Catholic College, 90.50. Andrew Youssef, Patrician Brothers College Fairfield, 91.15. Daniela Franco, Mary McKeel of Catholic College, ATA, 91.95. Can I call up Mrs. Dai Lee to the stage to congratulate more of our HSC graduates? Annabelle Toma, Mary McKillop Catholic College, 92.6. Daniel Michael, Clancy Catholic College, ATA 93.55, first in the state for investigating science, first out of 6,000 students. He obtained a university scholarship from the University of Sydney for that achievement. Well done. Elena Habib, Freeman Catholic College, 94.9. Joshua David Saragilio, The King's School, he was on the Distinguished Achievers List, 95.45. Alexis Pridgen, Bridgeting College, she was on the Distinguished Achievers List, 96.45. Can I call up to the stage Dr. Hugh McDermott to assist in handing out to the, the, to the graduates, please? Rose Zuri, Mary McKill of Catholic College, 97.05. <laughs> Helen Mayoma, Mary McKill of Catholic College, 97.60.
Estella Michael, Clancy Catholic College, 98.80. Can I call to the stage Dr. David Saliba? We will start now by handing out plaques to the university graduates. Joy Elias, congratulations for the Bachelor of Arts in Politics and International Relations from the University of New South Wales. Olena Amo, Bachelor of Business from the University of Technology, Sydney, which will be received by Maysoon Yalda. Alvarina Yelda, Bachelor in Design and Architecture from the University of Technology, Sydney. Oh, can I get Trivu to the stage, please? Myrna Youssef, Bachelor of Education Primary from the Australian Catholic University. Myrna's no, not here. Oh, she's not here. Okay. She's sick. She's not here today. Marvin Putras, Bachelor of Information and Communications Technology from Western Sydney University. Minerva Jaswari, Bachelor of Health Science, Th Therapeutic Recreation from the Western Sydney University. <laughs> Silva Franco, Bachelor of Social Science, Psychology from Western Sydney University. Can I please call Mr. Nathan Haggerty to the stage? Amanda Youssef, Bachelor of Science, Bachelor of Education Secondary from Macquarie University. <laughs> Florit Gallo, Bachelor of Medical Science, Western Sydney University. <laughs> Sylvia Micha, Bachelor of Laws, Bachelor of Commerce, Financial Technology from the University of New South Wales. <laughs> Can I please call to the stage Ms. Charisma Kalienda. Valeria Jabro, Bachelor of Law and Commerce from the University of New South Wales. <laughs> Dana Odish from Bond University in the Gold Coast, Queensland, a Bachelor of Medical Studies, a Doctor of Medicine. Andrew Youssef, also Bachelor of Medical Science for Doctor of Medicine from Bonn University in the Gold Coast. <laughs> Chantel Rafu, Bachelor of Social Work with Honours, University of Sydney. <laughs> Andy Issa, Bachelor of Construction Management with Honours, Western Sydney University. Peter Mushi, Bachelor of Construction Management with Honours, Western Sydney University. Can I call Mr. Edmund Atala to the stage? Stafra Rufayu, Bachelor of Construction Management with Honours, Western Sydney University. <laughs> Noras Termina, Bachelor in Civil Engineering with Honours, Western Sydney University. <laughs> Isabella Hanna, Bachelor of Engineering with Honours with Commerce, University of New South Wales. Congratulations. 
Marcel Youssef, Bachelor of Construction Management, Honours, Major in Building Surveyancing, Western Sydney University. Can I please call to the stage Acting Superintendent? David Paula, Bachelor of Engineering with Honours Civil. <laughs> David graduated from Western Sydney University with first class honours and awarded with the University Medal for Outstanding Scholarship. <laughs> Fadi Hanku, Bachelor of Construction Management with Honours, Class 1, Division 1, Quantity Surveyancing, Building Surveyancing, and he was awarded with a University Dean Award for a high distinction. Eric Pridgen, Bachelor of Laws in Com Economics, graduated with honours from Sydney University and now has a graduate position at Minters, a top tier law firm. And collecting his top plaque will be his sister, Alexis Pridgen. <laughs> Rebecca Jacqueline Saragilio, Bachelor of, Bachelor of Laws in Communication graduated with honours from UTS and was admitted as a practising solicitor. She is currently working at the Bar Association. Well done. <laughs> Lavinia Coro, Master of Teaching Secondary, Western Sydney University. Mariam Namo, Master of Speech and Language Pathology, Macquarie University. <laughs> Milad Fadul, Master of Pharmacy from the University of Sydney. Angela Matti, Bachelor of Social Work from the Australian Catholic University. <laughs> Vanessa Matti, Bachelor of Business Human Resource Management from Western Sydney University. Can I call upon Eddie Sarkis to the stage, please? Mariana Isho, Bachelor of Law and Arts at Macquarie University. <laughs> and for the last of our graduates, can we please congratulate Amanda Matti, Masters of Primary Education from Western Sydney University. <laughs> One more graduate, sorry. Brenda Matty, Master of Teaching Primary, Australian Catholic University. Can we please give our graduates a round of applause? Now I would like to call onto the stage four of our graduates who would like to say a few words to us. Can I please call upon Natalia Shibu, Rose Zori, Valeria Jabra, and Milad Qaddu.
Good evening, distinguished guests and all the high achievers. Shlama Lochen Kolochen. My name is Natalia Shibo, and I am honored to be standing here today. I would first like to take this opportunity to thank, in his absence, our Archbishop Mar Amil Nonam for his continuous support of the youth's endless aspirations, achievements, and success. I also want to thank the Chaldean League Association for organizing this event. When my family left their hometown in northern Iraq and came to Australia, they left with the hope of a better future for their children. Whether that be five or 20 years ago, all of our families came to this country for the same reason, which is the endless opportunities this land provides. And I'm glad to say that today, all of us here are a testament to their dedication and commitment to our lives. We are their success, and our success is their pride. As the eldest daughter in a Middle Eastern household, leadership is discovered from a young age. Throughout my high school years, I always strive to embody and reflect Christ-like leadership and following in the footsteps of the saints. After being in the executive student leadership team in year 11, I was honored to be chosen as the school captain in my senior year. Although accompanied with various responsibilities, it allowed me to build resilience and independence, serve my community, and spread the gospel while also maintaining my academic performance. The Gospel of Matthew chapter 6, verse 5, teaches us to be aware of practicing our piety before others in order to be seen by them. For then, we have no reward from our Father in heaven. I continuously live by this teaching as Romans chapter 12 reminds us that since God has given us different gifts for doing certain things well, I chose to gladly serve others with the gift of leadership instilled in me. That is why I am honored and humbled by the multiple rewards I have received for my service. Overall, by remaining organized and focusing on my academic priorities, and I'm sure my fellow graduates can agree with the endless practice papers, I was able to achieve the results needed to get into my dream course at my dream university. I was fortunate enough to have my passion for architectural engineering from a very young age. And as I approached senior studies, I had my goals clear. I am proud to say that I am now a first year architecture student at the University of Sydney with majors in environmental science and building design. Today, with the support of our community, friends, and most importantly, our parents, we are able to share our talents and achievements with our loved ones. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. Thank you for the warm welcome and the opportunity to stand before you today. My own journey through high school was marked by challenges and triumphs, all of which contributed to my personal growth and success in the HSC. As a Chaldean who came to Australia in 2016, I have always aimed for nothing but success, not just in regards to my education, but in every aspect of my life. Today, I'm humbled to share my experience and journey of being a high school student. The HSC is undoubtedly demanding, a test not only of knowledge and skills, but also of our attitude towards learning. It requires motivation, persistence, and a strong work ethic. It's a balance that necessitates more than just neutral talent or endless hours of studying, yet maintaining a clear goal, no matter how big or small, provided a sense of purpose to all my efforts and prevented me from despising the learning process. I'm proud to be representing the Chaldean community, which continues to grow and prosper on this fabulous day. I want to thank the Chaldean League Association and all the other organizations for their efforts today and allowing me to take part. I leave you with the reassuring words of Philippians 4.6. Do not be anxious about anything, instead pray about everything. Thank you. Good evening, distinguished guests, clergy, and fellow graduates. My name is Valeria Jabro, and I am honored to stand before you today as we celebrate the wonderful academic achievements of our community. Having recently graduated from the University of New South Wales with a Bachelor of Laws and a Bachelor of Commerce, I reflect on the difficult yet immensely rewarding years that have brought me to this point. It has been a journey paved with relentless dedication and determination. Many of us gathered here are first-generation Australians, born to parents who either faced significant barriers to education or were forced to flee their homeland in search of a better future, as was the case for my family in Iraq. 
Their sacrifices, their selflessness, and their boundless love have been the bedrock upon which our success rests. From late night study sessions to heartfelt words of encouragement, from tutoring sessions to simple gestures of care, our parents have spared no effort to ensure our dreams take flight. On behalf of all of the graduates in this room, I extend a heartfelt thank you to our parents whose sacrifices have made our achievements possible. I encourage our youth to pursue their education and to obtain a degree. St. Augustus says, education is the food of youth, the delight of old age, the ornament of prosperity, the refuge and comfort of adversity and the provocation to grace in the soul. Let us not take this privilege for granted, but rather embrace it wholeheartedly and strive to make the most of the opportunities it affords us. To all aspiring students, do not underestimate the importance of perseverance, resilience, and a thirst for knowledge in achieving success. There will be many obstacles along the way, but if you pursue your dreams at all costs, the outcome will be greatly rewarding. I would like to thank our Archbishop Mara Milnona and all clergy and the sisters who generously provide their time, effort and resources to ensure we are constantly equipped with everything we need to be the best versions of ourselves. Thank you to the Chaldean League for organising a wonderful event that recognises the hard work and passion of individuals from our community. And above all, I thank God, who by his grace and mercy, I, along with all of these graduates, can stand here today. As we stand on the threshold of a new chapter in our lives, may we carry forward, a lesson learned, may we carry forward the lessons learned with humility and gratitude, recognising that each challenge overcome and success achieved has shaped us into the capable individuals we are today. Congratulations to my fellow graduates and may our futures be filled with continued success, growth and fulfilment. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. My name is Milad Kadu, and I would like to start by saying thanks to everyone for coming to this ceremony, and special thanks to our special guest, and also special thanks to the Chaldean League and St. Thomas Church for making this happen. Ten years ago, I came to Australia as a refugee from Iraq, and as many refugees, I came here with no English at all. So I went to English Center to learn the language, and within a short period of time, I was able to pass that and went to Bosley Park High School to study 11 and 12, where I graduated from U12 as one of the top students in New South Wales and top student in my school. After that, I continued my education to Western Sydney University, where I studied medical science and majored in medicinal chemistry, where I graduated as well as one of the top 10% in my cohort. I continued my education in Master of Pharmacy degree at the University of Sydney. And the reason I did pharmacy, it's because I view pharmacy as a platform for me where I can provide help to people. I came from a place where healthcare was not as available and provided as it should be. To me, this is a way where I give back to the community and make sure this happens. Of course, it wasn't an easy journey. There were so many obstacles and challenges. But with the support from my family, friends, and community, I was able to conquer all these challenges and navigate through these obstacles. So I will leave you with this. Be always positive and always look forward to achieve your dreams, no matter how hard it is. Thank you very much. Thank you to our graduates. And it's clear to say that the future generation of the Chaldean community is looking bright and wonderful. So can we please give them another round of applause? <laughs> we will now have a poetry reading by a poet, uh, by the poet Iraqi Haydar Karim. Can we please make him feel welcome? أقدم شعرنا بالعربي مثل ما طلب من عندي أكيد مناسبة أو احتفالية ب راح تحول للنص هنا أكيد احتفالية بهذا الحجم ما راح تخلو من الكلام الجميل من الشعر والقصيدة 
واكيد الشعر يحلى لما يكون شعر من شاعرنا العراقي المبدع والمتالق الصديق العزيز حيدر كريم مبارك السنة الجديدة الكلدانية ومبارك للمتفوقين وشكرا للرابطة الكلدانية لهذه الدعوة الكريمة رجال الدين الأفاضل رجال الأحزاب الحضور كل حسب مقامة أسعدتم مساء نتهم بعض الأحيان بانحيازنا لطائفة دون أخرى الشعر العراقي خاصة يحمل أخلاق الفرسان فيوم تجده من دائي ويوم تجده كلداني ويوم تجده شيعي وسني لا ننحاز لطائفة سوى الوطنية تدفعنا لطوائفنا راهنوا عالطائفية عذرا سأقرأ باللغة العراقية راهنوا عالطائفية والحكي كل الصريح رادوا نبيع اسد بابل والوطن يبقى جريح قلت لخوني ولا يهمك انت امن واستريح شفته يبكي على الحسين وحنا يلطم بالضريح اذا اذا انا مسلم حيل احب مريم العذراء وفدوه روحا كل التراب المسيح راهنا وعلى الطائفية والحكي كل الصريح رادوا نبيع اسد بابل والوطن يبقى جريح قلت لخوني ولا يهمك انت اقعد واستريح شفته يبكي على الحسين وحنا يلطم بالضريح اذا حقي انا مسلم حيل احب مريم العذراء وفدوى روحا كل التراب المسيح قبل قبل اسبوع ظهر في شاشات التلفاز المحامي ناصر الدويهي الكويتي يلعن الحضارة العراقية ويشتمها بالاسم ويقول حضارتنا أقدم وأهم فهذه الرسالة على لسان شاعر عراقي إلى المحامي ودولة الكويت ناصر الدويهي وأنا مسؤول عن هذه القصيدة وليس إدارة المهرجان علي يفهم بعد ما تعبر النوب خلينا نشوف منو الحضارة الأهم ومنو أهل الحضارة علي يفهم بعد ما تعبر النوب وهس اليوم حط للغلطة عنوان ويسولف لقصص كلهن قديمات وهم عند حضارة وبيها بنيان انت منين لك بس البعارين انت منين لك بس البعارين وسامع لك كذب بنطوك فنان الحضاره والحضاره وساكن خيام وانا باب الهذيك تريد برهان الحضاره والحضاره وساكن خيام وانا باب الهذيك تريد برهان انا عشتار عندي وعندك بعير انا عشتار عندي او عندك بعير وصار لسان عندك تحكي بطران خلص عمرك تراب وتحفر ببير وانا فوق النجم دقيت نيشان خلص عمرك تراب وتحفر ببير وانا فوق النجم دقيت نيشان سكتنا هواي بس قاموا يغلطون وسامحنا ولزمنا الصبر ميزان عراقيين عراقيين احنا اهل عراقيين اهلا للحضارات صعدنا على الشمس والشاي خدران هسه انت وعمامك واللي يكتبون لازم تنحي لو شف لو شفت كلدان هسه انت وعمامك واللي يكتبون لازم تنحني لو شفت كلدان شكرا Can I please call to the stage Mr. Samir Yusuf to hand out some awards?
طبخ وكل بابا كهني بقدي لخا شيخ صلاح شو ويانا خطوات ربنياتا خطوات ربنياتا فقد لخا We welcome to the stage. We welcome to the stage our respected priests and nuns to thank them to, for their ongoing support for the Chaldean League. We'll be presenting them with a plaque each to congratulate them and endeavor to work with them for, and continue our support along with them for future events and organizations. So I'll start with Father Paul Mangena. <laughs> Father Mahar Georgis. Can I please call upon Mr. Frank Carbone and Mrs. Diley? <laughs> Father Maha Georgis. Father Stephen Azabu. <laughs> Father Rodi Situ. Father Hadil Al Babo, <laughs> Father Yusuf Dawood, <laughs> oh, Sister Elham Dagari, on behalf of the Congregation of the Chaldean Sisters, Daughters of Mary Immaculate. Can we give our priests and respected nuns a round of applause? I would, I would like a boy, a Father Paul Mangana to stay on the stage for him to receive a plaque on behalf of His Grace Mar Emil Nona, Archbishop of the Chaldean Catholic Diocese of Australia and New Zealand, for his support to the Chaldean League. Can we give him a clap?
اوكي خنوات خطوات القا قمت هاي خبار خمندي يخم قبوي دخليه دخلت لنا شوتا بوياثا كبير شوتاسا كبير لخا قاو السني من اللي ببلاخا بقشيوثا من اللي مقروه خدمته تبني عما لخا اخا صورة كالدايا بريشالا قانا اخني من دو من دي ميران اخي ليا خم شرك باتشولا ماود لن مخكوا لي من سيدنا دليل اليوم لخا ومقررا Organization of the Year Peshawulta Takaldian Project Community, community Project Adila Khonan Broni Jason Rami Mark Dile Habir Lakha Anna Juanke Birkha Haga Izala City Imakhli Homeless Abshimmit Kaldayuta Uata Kaldayta Hoyatama Mittalka Ilabli Garai Igari Balash يلبلي حلويات يموزعي لها ببلش بقوا تلفزيون شانل 7 يشد قبلط وعلى خاب ماري وليدن ما بودن وخمدن هم ليس بماري قوا تلفزيون ليدن ما بودن ود أنا جوان قلها ويوالخها شوق من ديها شولان دان تهاولا سنقوياتها فاملي خاتة مطية الدوة أثرا يدن خاتة كميلة مغبرة لي بمرة لي فلان عائلة مطيلة هو لسنقتها فلان عائلة لتلاقي خالة فلان عائلة كبي بارة خاق ورطة إيثن داند لها ويا أن جوان قيار قيدة لهودة ويودي لها إيتاتا كلها يهم إلى سنيدة إيدان كبي رفل تكت وكبي من ديانة أن جوان قي إزالة مكبشي خلايات وياتي وميتي لي فأن جوان قي إديوم بخشاوي ودخي دي المتفقة من سيدنا أميل نونا دليل الحضيرة لخا أي أورد أد أورغنازيشن أوف دي يير بيشا زلطت علي فطلبخ من أبونا بولس آت لخا بشوبة سيدنا أميل نونا ومقرولة طالي <تصفيق> الأخوة العزاء لأول مرة اختارينا اختارينا جمعية لهذه السنة من الجمعيات الكلدانية الموجودة على الساحة فأكو جروب يسمون نفسهم جمعية المشاريع الكلدانية كل شهر مرة مرتين يروحون على سيدي مارتن بلايس يطعمون الهوملس إذا عائلة جديدة جتي بغض النظر عن أصلهم قوميتهم دينهم إذا محتاجين يرقضون يودي لهم الأكل يودي لهم الشرب يودي لهم كل شيء فذول الجم... فذول الشباب اللي جمعية المشاريع الكلدانية اتفقنا مع سيدنا ورشحوا هذه الجمعية لتأخذ جائزة جمعية السنة الكلدانية اللي أبونا بولس بالنيابة عن سيدنا أمين لونا يقدمها. Ladies and gentlemen, the youth group which you can see here, they are members of Chaldean Community Project. Those people always working hard. Every fortnight or every month they're going to Martin Place to feed the homeless. And they're helping all the families in need who they're coming to Australia. Especially when they receive any message from Chaldean League or from Chaldean community or Chaldean church, they run away straight away. And they run there and they help in them and they provide whatever they need. That's why we gave them an award today as Organization of the Year. Okay, we have another award which we're doing it for first time as well, which is Chaldean of the Year. What are we doing? We're choosing one Chaldean who's been working very hard for our community in total no matter what they are, Assyrian, Chaldean, Syriac, Muslims, whatever. Especially he's been working hard in challenging time when we had the COVID. One of the funny things which uh, I remembered, that's one time he received a call from a lady, help me, help me, I'm dying. Then when he spoke to her, she said, what do you need? She said, these three days I haven't got cigarettes and I cannot go out because of Corona. <laughs> he went. He bought the, the smug from his own pocket and he took it to her. Not only that, always he's been working hard in community, representing our community, representing Chaldean League. And as well, we spoke to His Grace Mar Amil Nona. He agreed with me on this person, which I'm going to announce it soon. Al-Akhwal Azza, the first time we're going to do a visit Kaldani for this year, رشحنا أحد شبابنا اللي دا يشتغلون بقساوة يضغطون على نفسهم ويأخذ من وقته من وقت عائلته من فلوسه ودا يتبرع بيها مجانا ودا يجد يشتغلنا للجالية الكلدانية والآشورية وسيخ يقول عراقية بصورة عامة حقيقة 
اثناء الكورونا اشتغل هوايه مساعدات للبيوت سوينا وودينا وركضنا بس هو دائما كان كبش الفداء اللي كنا نعيل عليه دائما حقيقه ونثقل عليه لذلك اليوم بدنا نعطي له هذه الجائزه اللي هو ليث التشينو وي اسك وي اسك وي اسك ستيف كريستو كاريزما نايثن ادمون تري ايدي and Dali to come here. And, and, and Reni, Councillor Reni, Councillor Sharbal Saliba, Councillor Mary Saliba, Councillor Carmen Lazar. Come all of you here, please. Because I know uh, Laith is being given you a hard time all time. Anything we needed, I've been asking him, call all the state members, call all the people which are around us here to come in and help in us in any issue we need. That's why I'm calling all the, those people who they've been dealing with Laith to present this for Laith and have photo. But this, uh, this um, award is going to be presented by Sister Elham Dagali. We ask her to come here. Paqad <laughs> Sam Kayal, sorry I forgot you, please come in. Sam Kayal, Murasha Hazbil Ahrar, the Mantaqat Warwa. Thank you. Stay, the MPs stay, and councils, all of you stay on the stage. Or stay, or stay on the stage. And now, we do another award for first time. You can meet new things with the Chaldean League always here. There is a person who's been working very hard for our community, collectively and individually. He's been serving them. He's been... I, I call him. I call him our victim, because he's been working hard. He's been uh, be away, been away from the family just to serve the community. I got to ask the MC to read a few points about him without mentioning his name, and then we'll talk. We we'll speak in Arabic and Chaldean. This person was elected to Fairfield City Council in September 2008. He was popularly elected as, one of, as the mayor of Fairfield City Council in 2012, and then again in 2016, and then again in 2021, all in local elections. Yeah. <laughs> he ran a local business for almost 20 years and worked closely with the people of Fairfield City to develop positive community and local business relationships. This person has established himself as a voice for Western Sydney residents, advocating for upgrades in Fairfield hospitals and speaking about issues including housing issues, migration, cost of living, refugee support, distribution of funding of, of, for infrastructure and for unfair treatment of residents of Western Sydney during COVID lockdowns. During his time as mayor, the, the council has completed a number of significant building prospects for the city, redeveloping Fairfield showground, Upgrade in parks, including Fairfield Adventure Park, Debra Park, all the Karuna Park, Berenna Park, Carwood Park, Fairfield High Park, construction and expansion of Aquatopia Water Park, at per Perrywood Leisure Centre, construction of Fairfield Youth and Community Centre, a new library in Fairfield, Fairfield City HQ, a community hub and co-work support space for local entrepreneurs and businesses, the construction of Dutton Lane Plaza Shopping Centre and car parks, and I won't say the name just yet, I'll let Mr. Samir Yusuf to keep going. So that's why we're given this award for first time. The best mayor in Fairfield history, Frank Carboni. Please come here.
There's two other things which Fair for City Council they do, or let's say, uh, Councillor Frank Carboni, Mayor of Fairfold, he's going to announce it here, which has been announced recently about the beans. Oh, yeah, yeah. They, he's going to talk about yeah. that. And um, the other thing, in Corona time or COVID time, no one fight for his community as Frank Carboni does. He became a very popular in Australian media. I'll leave you now with Frank Carboni. Thank you, Samir. Thank you, Samir, and thank you for the award. But, um, you know, we do this role because we love our community. As someone that was actually born here in Fairfoot, I was very fortunate, and I was listening to one of the award winners talk about how their parents came here with very little and got persecuted. Um, my parents, they were Italian, obviously, and they came here also for a better life. They came here because life was tough in Italy in the 1960s and 1970s, and uh, they left their country behind. Um, and I was fortunate enough to be born in Fairfield and fortunate enough to become the mayor of Fairfield. And um, I always fight for my community. I love Fairfield, I love the people. And uh, apart from those initiatives, some of the new stuff that we're doing in the next few months, um, people will get to understand that we're gonna build a big indoor entertainment precinct at the showground with uh, up to uh, 7,000 people. Uh, so that means that when we have our concerts, when we have our expos, when we have our big entertainment nights, it's going to take a few years and a bit of money, but we want to build it right here in Fairfield because people in Fairfield deserve nothing but the best and that's why I fight for my community in Fairfield. Also, um, there's a lot more that we're doing. Um, if you haven't been to the People's Globe at the Fairfield Showground where the, we've got the big granite ball, that's where the Chaldean flag is, and that's where the flag, along with other flags, it shows the distance that people have travelled, your parents, how far they travelled. So people never forget the sacrifices of the Chaldean community that came here and worked very hard to give their children a better life. And that's why we built it, because I understand, I understand the pathway you took, because I've seen my parents struggle. I've seen how hard they worked, how hard it was for them to not speak English, and that's why I'll always work for you. Because people in Fairfoot, I just want people to be proud, to be happy, and to know that nobody is better than us here in Fairfoot. Because we've got a very, very unique community. And uh, one of the other things that we're doing recently, thanks for giving me this opportunity, Samir, is that we're rolling out, I know it's, it's, a, it's garbage, no one likes garbage bins, but uh, we do like it when it's a free garbage bin and we're rolling out 55,000 green bins. Everybody will get a green bin in the next eight weeks. There'll be no extra charge for the green bin and unlike every other council, you get to keep your big red bin too because only in Fairfield, other councils, they give you a little bin, okay? And you want to you know why we keep our big bin here in Fairfield, the big green and the big red? because no one has families like Fairfield and no one loves food like Fairfield. So we need bigger bins in Fairfield. That's why we're doing it. So we'll start that in June. And uh, thank you, Samir. Thank you to uh, the Chaldean community. Um, but that award really should go to you, to the people, because I fight for you every day. I love my community and I love Fairfield. Thank you very much. And I'll keep on doing that. Just before we proceed, there is a car that is double parked. I will read the plate number and if you could kindly please go and move your car as somebody would like to exit. The net plate number is DNX34F. I'll read that again, DNX34F. So could you please kindly move your vehicle because somebody would like to exit. Thank you. Moving on with our schedule for tonight. We would like to extend our heartfelt grat gratitude to our new and ongoing esteemed ambassadors for the Chaldean League and their unwavering support to us and their dedication and advocacy has been instrumental in advancing our mission and fostering stronger communities. As a token of appreciation, we are honoured to present you with medals commemorating your invaluable contribution. Can I please welcome to the stage Miss Charisma Kalienda, member for Liverpool. Okay, Khulwata Khatwata. Okay, Khulwata Khatwata. Al-Gaqamethol and Boadal Luyan Holland Kamol Orhan. 
لأن مسؤولين أعضاء برلمان وكانسل جديد يخد إتلي قال ماط الحكومة وقعد كانت حكومة ولا بواد لا لي خل درجة ين عيون اللي ردبت ين ميدالية سفير الرابطة الكلدانية ده هو سفير القضية الكلدانية جو برلمان جو كانسل جو كل دوكا ده هاي بيخدمي لأنه منطقة لهم كل دوكا لأول مرة أيضا ده ننطي ميداليات لل الأخوة أعضاء البرلمان والكانسلز حتى يكونون درجة سفير رابطة الكلدانية أريد يكونون صوت الرابطة الكلدانية في المحافل كلها سواء كانت في البرلمان أو الكانسلز لذلك نطلب من كاريزما جتي ونطلب من أخونا إيدي ساركيس كانسل إيدي ساركيس يجي طبعا إيدي ساركيس وأن هو مو فير فور سيدي كانسل كان بلد كانسل بس أي مرة نحتاجه نخابره يجي ويخدمنا بأي مشكلة عندنا بأي شغل عندنا حقيقة لذلك إيدي ساركيس هي ديزيرف ذا ستايتل از امباسادور فور كالديان ليج أنا غانا أسك تو ساي فيو وردز. ثانك يو سمي شتا برختا أو ستارت أوف باي سايينغ هابي كالديان نيو يير 7324 years of existence uh, for the Chaldean people. That's a long time when you consider Australia is like 230, 30 what, 36 now, 236 years. Uh, there's only about 7,100 years or thereabouts difference. Uh, that's a long time in existence uh, and well done to the Chaldeans in preserving their existence. No doubt you're a, uh, a resilient people, a people that have lasted the years, uh, the ages, uh, that's evident. It's always, I guess, my, my honour and, and pride to support everybody wherever I can. And wherever, whenever I get a phone call from Sam or one of the committee members to assist in a matter, if I'm able to personally, then I will. If not, I'll do my best to refer them to somebody else that will. I should have said, Allah bil khair. Um, I want to thank the committee for recognizing my efforts. Uh, I wasn't expecting this, but thank you so much. I look forward to uh, continuing the work with the Chaldean community. Um, and can I say, it's not just the Chaldean community. It's all the communities that the Chaldean community supports. And I know, and I've seen them, whether it be at... Iraqi Shiite functions or Sunni functions or Assyrian functions. I've seen them at Lebanese functions uh, supporting so many other groups. They don't limit themselves. And as we heard earlier, the youth who go out there and support the homeless uh, once a fortnight uh, and so many occasions I, I've, I've heard of them down uh, cooking food and giving out food and doing what they do. I commend you on your leadership, Sam, through the Chaldean community, the Chaldean League in Australia and worldwide, but more particularly closer to home in New South Wales, Sydney, in Fairfield, in Martin Place. Well done. I bid you well and I uh, look forward to continue the work with you. Thank you. I'll continue with the ambassadors. Mr. Nathan Haggerty, member for Leppington. Dr. David Saliba, member for Fairfield. <laughs> Mr. Tree Vu, member for Cabramatta. <laughs> Fairfield City Councillor, Rennie Barco. <laughs> Fairfield City Councillor, Charbel Saliba. Fairfoot City Councillor Carmen Lazar. <laughs> Steve Christo. <laughs> Sorry? No, he's not. Yeah. Uh, Here we go. 
Mr. Edmund Otala. Sami Kayal. Mr. Samir Qasim from the Iraqi TV. Hadil Sabah from SBS Australia. She's not present tonight. Can we give our new and ongoing ambassadors a round of applause, please? واليوم راح ننطي هذا هذه الميدالية أيضا لأحد الأشخاص اللي نعتز بهم ويخدم الجالية العراقية دائما ودائما موجود على الساحة الدكتور أحمد الربيعي وعندنا أحد من الأخوة اللبنانيين اللي فتح قلبه إلنا قبل بيته وعرفنا على الجالية اللبنانية وممثلين الجالية اللبنانية كلها ويخدم الجاليات العربية كلها بصورة عامة وتلقاه السباق بالدفاع عن أي قضية خص الإنسانية ومفتوح بيته إلنا الأخ أحمد ديب فضل ومسك الختام للميداليات راح نعطيها للشيخ للش للشيخ صلاح الكحيلي اتفضل المسرح Thank you. Thanks a lot. Stay, Frank, stay. Can I call up to the stage Mrs. Dai Lee? Mem طبعا من الناس المعروفين اللي يخدمون الجاليه العراقيه ايضا اللي ما موجود بيناتنا اليوم آه واللي كان ممثل حكومه اقليم كردستان في استراليا ونيوزيلندا الاستاذ هبال عزيز واللي اليوم ما موجود ويانا لأنه سافر بس نطلب من الدكتور موفق سوراني يجي ويستلم الأورد مال مال أستاذ هبال عزيز سيان وعندنا جائزة أيضا أو أورد أو تذكار لشاعرنا المحبوب حيدر كريم
These events wouldn't be possible without our sponsors. Your generous support has been instrumental in making tonight and future events possible. Please accept these plaques as a symbol of our gratitude for your steadfast support and dedication to the Chaldean League. Laith El Hakim from A to Z Wedding Cinematography, Photography and Limousines. Reni Barjo from Reni's Bar and Grill. Fuad Subbi, President of the Mandeen World Congress. Fuad Subbi, President of the Mandeen World Congress. Stephen Yusuf from Fairmont Legal. And Anthony as well. Roel Shamas from Rita Supermarket. <laughs> Naeem Shamas. Namir Mati from Mobile Max. Raith Mena from Century 21 Southwest Fairfield. Karim Hanna from Ashtar Money Transfer Currency Exchange. Dr. Nasreen Shamas. Jason Yusuf from New Rise Developments. <laughs> Salah Kena on behalf of Amar Duru for Aussie Ice. <laughs> Ellie Curry, Speedway Green Valley. Shema Joseph and Via Elias from Eastern Flavors Foods. Taban, a super special thanks to Khatan Shammi. أديت بغزاية كل عشاد يلويد له البطرة يود وحدة منه من قورة ضياء مير بما أنه ناشي إذا بدوا حطا لوخن أخني يا مدو حخلا وخشوتوا لسبونسرز هاي بس انت خادة شم لذلك بمرنا وخن اتلا كايترين قاود ووذر البارك كود سانق مندي متصل بيا وساند له Thank you Ayman Paula Fairuz Sweet and Cafe Muthena Ma Georgia, Hammurabi Restaurant. Not here too. Ghazwan Gardi, Ron Palette's Order. Not here too. Hadir Kouza, Event Decor. Not here too. Um, John Barahu, Core Community Services. No, just John. Amr Omar. Sana, his wife will accept it on his behalf. Uh, Amr Hussein, Eden Venues. Elias Verwawi from Golden Crown Car Wash. Hassan Yelda from Batnaya Chaldean Association of Sydney. <laughs> Can we please give our sponsors a round of applause?
اوكي خلوات خطوات اليوم قلت لهم من كالديان لي قلت لهم فالنتيرز اربناشه ادي لي ببلاخه بقشيوتا وبوادا نتائج حلوه بشارخ لامد كابتن مهند جزراوي قدنا نطلع ثشن متتالي اي البشقاله بطوله دنيو ساوث ويلز طالا بشمت كالديان ليج نطلب من كابتن مهند جزراوي يجي هنا لانه هو المدرب الفريق مالتنا ومدير الفريق لثلاث سنوات متتاليه دا ياخذ بطوله نيو ساوث ويلز لفريقنا بامكانياتنا المتواضعه وعندنا هم ويا زوجته يقولون وراء كل رجل عظيم امراه عظيمه تنسي هموم زوجها من زوجته <تصفيق> لا عندنا عندنا ميسون جزراوي اختنا العزيزه اللي كل اسبوع فاتحه الفيسبوك ودا تدرس دروس الجنسيه الاستراليه وغير هذه متبرعه بمكتبنا بفيرفولد وتشتغل شغلها وتعيفه وتجي للمكتبنا تشتغل فولنتير فاليوم ثانك يو ميسون وعندنا الاخت المجهوله اللي تشتغل دائما تسوي ندوات وتسوي محاضرات وتسوي سفرات للجنه المراه الكلدانيه اللي حقيقه مشرفين بها الاخت مارلين توما وعندنا احدى الاخوات اللي باذله وقتها بدها تشتغل اي وقت تروحون المكتب الرابطه الكلدانيه في ماندروت ماندروت رود تلقوها بدها تشتغل بكل صفاء ومن قلبها وكل هذا ومجانا صفقه كبيره اريد لاختنا هناء شموكه وينها؟ تعالي اهيات آه انا خاتن هنا بس ما قال اخر شو لديت بوادر للعصوره كالدايا والعم من كله جو مخت وديان جو ماندروت خلصنا لا ميدان كي كل اخر اوكي طلبوا من باباتا كهنة اتي لخا من اعضاء البرلمان كلها اتي لخا قيصخ كيكا وبطر هذا غبزان العشايا هسه راح نطلب من فرانكي ستي هير يو اند داي انا غادا اسك اول ذا ام بيز اند كونسلرز تو كم هير اون ستيج بليز اند ريني اي سيد ام بيز اند كونسلرز حبيبي ادمون سامي ماسيرات روبرت بليز كم طبعا هذا الكيك الحلو سويته الاخت لانا موجوده هنا أنا من جمعيه برطله اللي يحتاج كيك لمناسباته موجوده ثانك يو
ويلي 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 لي بني لي اهديلي لقنا بالحب ودردي جاي الول بالقتلي ويلي 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 لي بني لي اهديلي لقنا بالحب ودردي جاي الول بالقتلي على رقاد مرشكك زوزي من بابا ويما ديدي كي بن براتين الزالم قم بدين بدي عرام قم بدين زوزي من بابا ويما ديدي كي بن براتين ويلي 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 لي مني لي اهدي لي لقنا بالحب ودرني جاي الول بالقد ليلي ويلي 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 لي مني لي اهدي لي لقنا بالحب ودرني جاي الول بالقد شكرا جزيلا شكرا حييتوا رقاده شكرا بس ما كان اوف انا اكيد ليبن دو دوخ قال لي انه دانا بيشلا درينك اوكي بس ما كان اوخن كل اوخن